was the American dream, the prayer for the future. But that golden goal was not to be had without cost. The American way was not gained in a day. It was born in adversity, forged out of conflict, perfected and proven only after long experience and trial. In all of history, no man was dedicated to this dream more than the 16th president of these United States, Abraham Lincoln. Here in his own words is what he once wrote about himself. For at that time, very few people outside Illinois knew very much about this man from the prairie. I was born February 12th, 1809, in Hardin County, Kentucky. My father removed from Kentucky to what is now Spencer County, Indiana, in my eighth year. It was a wild region, with many bears and other wild animals still in the woods. There I grew up. I was large for my age, and had an axe put into my hands at once. And from that to my 23rd year, was almost constantly handling that most useful instrument, I think that the aggregate The world has never had a good definition of the word liberty. And the American people just now are much in want of one. We all declare for liberty. But in using the same word, we do not all mean the same thing. What constitutes the bulwark of our liberty and independence? It is not our frowning battlements, our bristling sea coasts. These are not our reliance against tyranny. Our reliance is in the love of liberty, which God has planted in our bosoms. Our defense is in the preservation of the spirit which prizes liberty as the heritage of all men, in all lands, everywhere. Destroy this spirit and you have planted the seeds of despotism around your own doors. At what point shall we expect the approach of danger? By what means shall we fortify against it? Shall we expect some transatlantic military giant to step the ocean and crush us with a blow? Never. All the armies of Europe, Asia, and Africa combined could not by force take a drink from the Ohio or make a track on the Blue Ridge in a trial of a thousand years. At what point then? is the approach of danger